Hey everybody, it's Caroline. So this is gonna be a quick video on how to get pre-foreclosure data in your market and get started today. Um, if you have any questions, please ask below. I'll reply back another time. I'm gonna continue making more videos on this, but I wanna make sure that you guys are getting what you need. This is my YouTube channel. When you guys get on here, there's gonna be a section for you to be able to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and click all so you know when uh, there's gonna be updates. And again, every Thursday at 12 o'clock Arizona time, I am live with Michael Frankie answering your questions and pulling you guys up on stage. But let's get started. We're gonna to go to a few places that I copied off of to get started doing my first few deals. You don't need a lot of money, but I will ask that you get a pen and some paper to get going. Now, this is gonna be 100% free. You won't spend any money. And if you do hear some background noise, I apologize. I'm actually in Yellowstone right now and I'm filming inside of an RV with a few other people. So the main thing is done is better than perfect. And I wanna make sure that I have this done for you. So first we're gonna go over to Zillow.com. Again, no money needs to be sent. I'm gonna reset all of the features or all of the filters so we're on the same page. So I chose Maricopa County because that's where I am. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see this now. I pick a specific backwards working, always reverse engineer to make your life easier. And one other thing that I wanna say, as real estate investors, we get paid to do one specific thing. If you know what the answer is, I'm gonna give you a moment. Tell me in the comments below. As real estate investors, what do we get paid to do? Think about it. Think about it. Why do people decide to go with us? You're right. We get paid to solve problems. So when we work with homeowners that are in pre-foreclosure, we're helping them solve a problem. They can eventually either keep their home or they come to the conclusion, wow, I am white. They come to the conclusion that they need to sell this because there are no other options. So what we're going to be doing is looking for those people who need help and eventually do decide that they want to sell their home to us. And one other thing on the reverse engineering, I am your buyer. I will help you guys get out of these situations. I want to JV with you. I want to help you stop more auctions and work with the bank. We've helped negotiate second mortgages from $55,000 down to $5,000. We can get liens taken care of. We're here to help you out. Now let's go through this. Now, we're going to click on the more tab here on Zillow. And we're going to click on show more right here. And we're going to take it off of that new construction. Okay, we want to do foreclosures, auctions, and pre-foreclosures. All right, and the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to click apply. All right, we'll see everything that pops up in that. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to take off coming soon. Um, we're going to click on by owner and other. Look how many we have. We have 941. Okay. Now this is a few things. We're going to show you one, two other websites in total. So we're going to use three here today. Let's get in over on, let's just pick a house. Let's see if this is one. No, I don't like that one. Let's pick, uh, let's try this one. So what I like to do when I'm clicking on a house, this is really great. You can see there's a red dot that says it's in auction. And I can also see that this website or this property is listed on auction.com. So sometimes on Zillow, you can see these are listed on auction.com. We're going to click here and it'll take us over to auction.com and it'll give us an auction date. So you can see the auction date on this one is November 21st. This is where it gets interesting. Some states have uh, non-disclosure and some you can see everything. So in Arizona, we can see roughly that it's going to be worth right around six hundred thousand dollars. I don't think this is very accurate. I would probably deduct twenty to thirty thousand dollars just because this is inflated most of the time. Um, and it doesn't also tell us what the starting bid is. Sometimes right here it will say starting bid amount. When you get closer to the auction date, it'll probably say. Now we're going to scroll down on this and we're going to look at the section that says foreclosure contact information. On foreclosure contact information, this is the trustee. The trustee is just a fancy way of saying the attorney. In case you guys did not know this, the bank does not actually auction the house off. They hire an attorney to do all the work for them because they're just in the business of lending money. So what you can do is call them and see, hey, um, where can I get the information updated every day for the auctions on these properties? I'd like to bid on them. And that way you can try and stop these foreclosures and help out these homeowners. Now, now that we know this is an address, what we're going to do next, and we'll see, I might have to edit this after the fact because um, YouTube's weird about uh, addresses, but we're gonna go to true people, people, if I can spell, peoplesearch.com, do, 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 dot com. And then we're gonna search in the address here and look for the homeowner. Now we'll click on that. That'll take us straight over to where we need to go. And we're gonna see quite a few people that are associated with this. We have a few names here. Let's click on this first one. And with this on true people search, you can see, um, they're associated with this property. You can see phone numbers associated with them and family members and friends associated with them. 
If I were you, I would immediately go over, door knock this house, text this person, call them, and get a hold of them and offer them insight on how they can stop their foreclosure. I have a few other videos that you guys can watch, but once you get a little list going, I would open up Google Sheets and then do address, name, number, auction date, and keep it all organized. You don't need any fancy resources. Just go pull the data and get a list. And I'd narrow down and make sure that you're contacting homeowners that have um, lots of equity. That's where you're going to be able to help at the beginning. Once you build out a team, you'll be able to do lower equity listings. So this is a very short, condensed way for you guys to find data. Um, and the me next most important thing I want you guys to remember is speed to lead. Speed to lead is huge. Being the first one there makes it a lot easier for you. And then another very important thing you got to remember is the fortune is in the follow-up. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. Hit them frequently, lead with value, and you're going to see a difference. You're going to be able to help more homeowners. If you found any value in this video, please tell me below that you found, found that this was helpful. Um, let me know what you'd like to see me cover next. And please share this. If you could share this with two other people, it would be incredible. And I'll see you guys Thursdays at 12 o'clock Arizona time with Michael Frankie. Have a good one. Thanks.